Sun's out, bun's out, they always say. There's only one month of the solstice left. So if you're just not working on the summer body, it might just come in time for Christmas. Work with us. Personal trainer Jason Welch has a few moves for the at-homers. Hey, Jason. How are hey, you doing? Hey, good morning. I'm doing fine. All right, Jason, you're saying at-homers. Why at-homers? At-homers because these are the people which can probably afford the gym. They can't really go out there every day. They don't have the right circle and support to go mm -hmm. around the right people to influence them to work out every day in a fancy gym, mm -hmm. you know, for the Instagram posts and so on. So they're at home, you know. Right, right. So in the comfort of their home now, we're saying that, you know, there's so much that you can do there to get fit and healthy and get that summer body. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, sometimes it's just people don't want to work out in a crowd. Them just want to do it in a, do them thing in the quiet and them home too. The introverts, so we're looking correct, out for them too. Correct, correct. So, 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 at home, does that mean you're going to show us what to use at home? The tools that we have there, or we're gonna bring the things them to the yard? Well, no, that you have both options. All right. Right, there's stuff that you can use at home. Um, there's a famous water bottle, the big five gallon jug, perhaps you can use that one, or even the small water bottles if you're doing arm workout. Mm -hmm. You have the wall, these are props at home that you can always use. The wall is a wonderful place to exercise. The floor, even the grill. You know, people buy the resistance bands these days, and a grill, a firm grill, is a nice place to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> to keep Jesus! It. Jason said the grill, a firm grill. <laughs> they see a wall on the grill and I do stand the grill and you would just go so. All right, a firm grill. Right. All right, cool. Um, so what, what do you think makes a difference, Jason, in the way you approach fitness? Well, I think what makes a difference with, with um, my approach is this. I look out for the, the health and wellness of the clients. Okay. All right? Okay. I think a lot of people here, which I'm sure a lot of you can attest, have knee pain, yes. back pain, yeah. a little ankle injury that's been bothering you for many years mm -hmm. and it never really goes away. Mm -hmm. So I take the approach of, let's strengthen these areas first, mm -hmm. right? right? Let's work on these areas while working on your overall fitness mm -hmm. and sculpting your body. It's important to work on the overall fitness because some people just want to lose the waist. Say, Let me just lose the waist. But in order to do that, it, it has to come the All entire right. body has All to right. come into play. The whole body, the whole body, the whole body. <laughs> All right. So are you, you going to show us a few moves this morning? Well, yes, I'll be showing you a few moves, maybe one or two. All right. Right on the spot. So, what, Show me. What's the first one going to be about? So I'm going to show you a lunge, right? It might be a little bit testy for you. I'm going right. to the lunge. I'm going to take off these slippers here. And it's in... the lunge, this, this wedge. Yes, you don't want to lunge in a heel, guys. Know you don't want to lunge in a heel because, yeah, it's a... And I don't want to fall. See, she no, already knows what it looks like. Yeah. She makes that exploratory step. I'll show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, it involves keeping an upright body, right? And you make that step and you mm -hmm. go low. Mm -hmm. Now, this and is a good exercise. After and you, you come go low, back you up. come back up. You come back up. Mm -hmm. Or you make a second step and you walk. Oh, if you have a nice hallway at home or mm -hmm. driveway, you use it. All right? And this exercise is excellent for the legs, for the glutes. That's it's How long do you stay down for? Well, you want, to, you want to take it slowly. It's a gradual process. Most mm -hmm. of the exercise, you want to be as graceful as possible. Right? Graceful when you exercise, Jason? Yes. You don't want to be rushing it daily. Eh? No, I have bad knees, so only one you're going to get. <laughs> Give me the one you have. That's the one you're going to get. And that's perfect. That's the one you're too. You'll get more than enough for a while ago. Jody, where you're going filming? <laughs> All right. Ah, yes. I did two and done. Oh. Two and done. <laughs> that means she's well on her way. Just two. <laughs> two and done. So, yes, yeah, so something you might want, I might want to add to you, right? On the first day, you don't want to go hard and go out and 50 lunge, 100 lunge. No, you start gradually. So one of the things I have in place that I usually do monthly is to do a monthly challenge. And it involves 30 days of workout in which every single day, starting from day one, we improve on an exercise. We add one rep, we add two rep, and we keep going. So for the persons who have knees, the lunge might not be the... It might not be I the do? ideal one What else you. can we do? No, if the lunge doesn't work for you because you have bad knees, mm -hmm. right? The squat might also be a challenging one for you, right? You have a unique exercise, which I call the tibialis raise. Okay. The tibia is a 
mm -hmm. on the front of the foot right here. So mm -hmm. it involves you leaning back on a wall. Is mm -hmm. there one that I can use? No, you can pop with the people that yes. nice set. So you lean back on a wall, mm -hmm. right? And you, you raise your toes just like this. So you stand on your heels, predominantly on your heels, and you raise it. So what happens, you'll feel some tension building up right along your shin coming up. Each time you raise it, right along your shin. And it strengthens the muscles that are attached just below the knee here. And that helps in building a stronger knee. All right. All right. So we're going to run up and down one, Jason. Oh, definitely, man. We can't right. do that, man. Yeah, man. We could do that one now. Uh, the run up and down thing. A lot of people want to get out of the house. For the ones that get out too, we oh, look out for them. Oh, so can run up and down in the house? Yes. Well, you don't want to run up and down inside of the house and break your parents' things, right? All right. You oh, want to yeah. run up and down on the driveway, a little light jog. Some people get bored with the scene, right? Some people get bored with the scenery and so they want to go outside and take a walk in the community or a little light jog. I also encourage that. It's about the waist now, because so we start off, you know, tell the people I'm going to get a slimmer waist. What about the waist now? Okay, the waist. The most challenging area of the body is probably the waistline. I'm to tell you, all right? right? That's the first place <laughs> fat chooses to go. And so, sitting and doing a lot of ab exercises or a lot of core exercises will build your core, right. but it won't burn away all that fat that you need to get away from around the waist. Okay. All right? You need to improve on a little bit of strength training mm -hmm. and a little bit of cardio. Both works, right? Strength training increases your metabolic rate and allows you and allows you to get rid burn, of it. burn the fat a lot quicker. All right, Jason. Well, Jason, come on the way, it's not slimmer. I don't know what else. <laughs> Where can we find you? <laughs> okay, so you can find me at Skipper Wells Fitness. And that's Kipper Wells underscore fitness on Instagram. S-K-I-P-P-E-R-W-E-L-S-H underscore fitness. Yeah, there you have it. Skipper Wells Fitness. And you can email him, skipperwellsfitness at gmail.com. It's never too late to get yourself healthy, guys. You know, we love to talk about summer body and all them things. But most importantly, we're talking about health and wellness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, with us this morning. All right, guys, get going. Personal trainer Jason Welsh. We'll be back with a fun stop after the break. And Jason, they know them. They mean to ask you, we don't have them. They can do. Why, Jason, we kidnapped? Tell me.